Hello everyone, it's Lynn again, and you might be wondering, Lynn, do you actually get up this goddamn early every single day? And the answer is no, I am not an early bird, I don't care how fat and juicy that worm is, I will always choose sleep. However, for the past week, I have been getting up between 5 and 6 since I've been working orientation, so I'm gonna show you how my morning looks like, and tips for people who aren't early risers who need to get their asses up before the sun rises. Right when I turn the lights on and the alarm off, my cat greets me, Kayla is actually just an attention whore. I mean, she's just like all of us, she just wants to be loved and appreciated, which is very valuable. The first thing I do is drink all the water that's left in my water bottle because one, it's really good to hydrate in the morning and two, because I have a small bladder, if I try to fall back asleep, I'll eventually have to wake up because I'd have to go pee and then I'm awake. My second tip for waking yourself up when you don't have the sheer will to, you just pop on some music that gets you going. I always listen to Super Tuna by Jin every single day. That song is such a bop and it's so energetic and it definitely gives me the will to live. I personally did not used to understand why you would make your bed every single day because you just go in and mess it up later at night so what's the purpose but recently i've been using this productivity wellness app called finch where you take care and raise a bird and two of my tasks are get out of bed and make my bed and so now i do it so i can energize my bird and energize myself for the day and i will say something about having this part of my routine really sets me up to be like hey it's time to start my day and then i head downstairs i do my first half of my hygiene and beauty routine which is just to brush my teeth and wash my face at this point i'm either moving on to more mellow songs on my playlist because I've woken up or I'm just spamming super tuna on repeat. I use a CeraVe face wash and just splash my face and usually this is the last step to waking myself up. I like to use cold water if I'm feeling extra drowsy. In American cuisine, usually we consider dinner to be the hearty, biggest meal, most important meal of the day. But in Chinese culture, that's actually breakfast. On days where I work out and I get up this early, I usually have a first breakfast at home and then a second breakfast on campus. So I'm just doing something really light. I'm cutting up a fresh peach, also doing my typical instant oatmeal. I've been eating this since freshman year and it really just does it for me. It's quite simple, quick and easy. And while I wait for the oatmeal to finish cooking in the microwave, I make myself my espresso which I then turn into a latte. Being a college student is hard as hell. With my daily cup of coffee, it helps me get through the day, not just because of the caffeine, which I do need, but because the process of making a cup of coffee brings me so much joy. And if for some reason the imposter syndrome is hitting really bad one day, if I'm feeling like a big ass failure, I'm just really stressed, I'm always like, you know, if it really comes down to it, I can always drop out and open up my own bookstore cafe and just make coffee and pastries for the rest of my life and flirt with customers and be part of a community. And yeah, this is fueling that barista dream. I'm joking, by the way, I would never actually drop out, but sometimes, you know, the fantasy of opening your own business really just gets to you. I stir in oat milk and my oat milk creamer. And as Sai from Sai Loves Frogs would say, it's because I'm gay. And then I spend the next hour eating breakfast and getting myself digitally prepped for the day. And you might be wondering, what does digital preparation look like for Lynn? I go through my Notion, my Google Calendar, and my email and plan out what I need to do for the day. Senior year is hella busy and with my schedule, I think I might have combusted, might have imploded if I did not have list making. Fronting the work of organizing and just logistically managing my to-do tasks for the day, the week, even the month eases the burden of future work and sets me up for success. And an hour later, I am going to hit the gym and do a daily run. I think I accidentally set my GoPro on time lapse and look at this footage of me doing jumping jacks. That is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Anyways, I am not a runner, nor am I a track star, but I have been trying to prioritize my physical well-being, including making sure I go to my doctor's appointments, my dental checkups. Trying to get back into cardio, I run around one and a half to two miles every day, and it's just really important to prioritize your physical well-being. I feel like it's the first thing that gets sacrificed when you get busy. I'm usually a shower at night person, but on days where I'm just feeling a little icky, I'll do at least a body wash in the mornings. And then I do my full skincare routine, Usually if I'm in a rush, I just do toner and then lotion and then sunscreen, but I usually also go in with a serum that helps hydrate my skin. I will say this time and time again, Aging is a beautiful thing, but you want to age beautifully, okay? So you gotta be wearing your sunscreen every single day. I use Supergoop, which is a mineral sunscreen. I recently learned the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen reflects, whereas chemical sunscreen absorbs. And this week, I don't have to go through the chaos of tearing apart my closet for an outfit because I have a uniform for orientation. It's this cute little sage green t-shirt. I've been wearing my contacts more, and for some reason, it's just hit or miss if they can get into my eyeball, like what the hell. And then it's makeup time. 
I have really loved seeing how my relationship with makeup has changed and evolved and just grown over time because for a long, long, long period of my life, I use makeup as a way to decenter my insecurities and to cover up. Please let me know if you want an updated makeup tutorial. I can definitely do an entire video on it because I I think I'm so proud of how I know how to work with my features now. I know what flatters my face and then just untangling what it means to have a makeup day versus no makeup day and learning to embrace like just going bare face when i am having an important day with like meetings and a lot of classes and seeing a lot of people i will say since getting bangs again i always struggle with putting on mascara and brow gel and to make it last all day i set it with translucent powder and then i go in with the urban decay spray and yeah this is me i feel really cute and then it's time to do my hair my hair i did get a haircut you'll learn more about that in the next video the way i style it is i go in with some mousse while it's still wet and scrunch it in on the ends and i use a diffuser attachment with my dyson i have the air on the highest setting and then the heat on the lowest setting and i go in and set my hair using the diffuser helps you hold shape and i really like when my bangs and the ends of my hair create this curve that goes from the top of my face and then around my ear like so <laughs> This is the Lynn uniform, okay? I'm wearing pants, I'm tucking in my shirt, I got my headphones, I got my carabiner with the keys on the belt loop, okay? And after doing my fit check for the day, I go in and pack my backpack. I make sure I have all my essentials since I will sometimes change between using my bag you and my backpack. I make sure that my emergency pouch, my water bottle, my umbrella, anything that I might need is stored away. And the beautiful thing about getting up so, so, so early is that you get to see the morning light and you might be able to see the sunrise so I open up and let the light come in and I always feel so happy and full of dopamine. I'm a huge fan of dappled lighting so I like the strips of light that the blinds let in every day. And then it's time to go. It's 8.30 a.m. Gotta be there by 9 and I'm putting on my shoes and then we're gonna head out the door and do our commute. Just like working out and my hobbies, I have to find time purposefully and set it aside to do the things I love and that includes reading. I've been enjoying reading on my commutes because I take around like 20 minutes every day to get to class. I'm reading Never Let Me Go by Ishigero and having a book on hand also just helps me from doom scrolling on TikTok or Instagram. Before you know it, we're ready to get off the bus and head to what is orientation for me this week as we view some very beautiful b-roll of the Georgetown neighborhood. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope it inspired you a little bit to maybe try some new things in your routine. Maybe it's not getting up at 5 a.m., okay? I understand. 5, 5, 5, 5 a.m. is really damn early. But I also hope that I was able to share very small, tender moments with you that reminds us of like, you know, the joy of living, whether it's being able to see the morning blue sky, waking up to the smell of fresh coffee. For me, I know some mornings are gonna be way harder to get out of bed than others, so just making sure that we can take it day by day, enjoy the present, and give ourselves the same grace and understanding that we give others. So yeah, I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so, so, so much and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.